OSIRIS-REx slings orbital web around asteroid to capture sample. This is Bennu, one of Earth's closest planetary neighbors, an asteroid roughly the height of a skyscraper, a remnant from the dawn of the solar system made of carbon-rich rocks and boulders, and since late 2018, the place that NASA's. The OSIRIS-REx mission has called home. When OSIRIS-REx arrived, it began wrapping Bennu in a complex web of observations, starting with a preliminary survey of its size, shape, mass, and spin. On New Year's Eve, OSIRIS-REx was captured into orbit by Bennu's minuscule gravity, making it the smallest the world ever to be orbited by a spacecraft. In early 2019, it broke orbit to conduct a detailed survey. A series of sweeping passes allowed OSIRIS-REx to study geological features at different latitudes and times of day, enabling stereo imaging and landmark-based navigation. During the detailed survey, OSIRIS-REx globally mapped Bennu at only 5 cm per pixel, the highest resolution of any planetary body, including Earth. On June 12, the spacecraft entered a new orbit at just 680 meters, setting another record and establishing a home orbit for the remainder of the mission. In September, it began reconnaissance on four candidate sample collection sites, potential locations on Bennu to touch down and collect a sample later in the mission. OSIRIS-REx concluded its first year at Bennu back in orbit, circling the asteroid's terminator, or boundary, between day and night. Outside forces acting on the spacecraft are balanced, allowing it to orbit within the same plane over time. Reconnaissance resumed in early 2020 with close flyovers of the primary sample collection site Nightingale and the backup site Osprey. In mid-April, OSIRIS-REx performed the first of two rehearsals before sample collection. It navigated to a predetermined checkpoint about 125 meters above Bennu, then descended to within 65 meters before backing away. After the checkpoint rehearsal, OSIRIS-REx flew one final reconnaissance sortie over the site Osprey. Then it made a series of high-altitude maneuvers while rebooting its onboard processor and preparing for its second rehearsal of the sample collection event. On August 11, OSIRIS-REx departed its home orbit and made a four-hour traverse to Bennu's northern hemisphere, retracing its earlier path. After performing the checkpoint engine burn to begin its descent, it made a second engine burn called Match point to match Bennu's rotation before backing away at an altitude of approximately 40 meters. Now, the most crucial moment of the mission had arrived. On October 20, 2020, at approximately 11.30 a.m. in mountain time, the spacecraft departed orbit. A few hours before, mission controllers on Earth had sent the commands for the touch-and-go sample collection maneuver, or TAG. As they watched with anticipation, OSIRIS-REx steered itself to sample site Nightingale, maneuvering toward the small crater at the walking pace of a spider. At 4.11 p.m., the mission received confirmation, OSIRIS-REx had touched down and collected its sample. Following TAG, the spacecraft drifted to a safe distance away from Bennu. By the end of October, mission controllers determined that it had exceeded its goal of collecting 60 grams of asteroid material. They directed it to stow the sample in preparation for return to Earth. Before departing Bennu, OSIRIS-REx was given one final task. On April 7, it flew over the site Nightingale to observe how the sample collection event had changed the surface. And with that, OSIRIS-REx had recorded its mark on Bennu and spun the last strand of its web. OSIRIS-REx first enters a wide orbit around Bennu. 1. It then uses its thrusters to slowly shrink its orbit. 2. As it gets closer to Bennu, it uses its solar electric propulsion system to create a series of small, controlled impacts on the asteroid's surface. 3. These impacts create a cloud of dust and debris that surrounds Bennu. 4. OSIRIS-REx uses this dust and debris to create a kind of web around the asteroid. 5. This web helps to keep OSIRIS-REx in its orbit around Bennu. The orbital web is a very delicate system, and OSIRIS-REx must be careful not to disrupt it. If the web were to break, OSIRIS-REx could be ejected from its orbit and lost. The orbital web is a key part of OSIRIS-REx's mission to collect a sample from Bennu. The sample will be returned to Earth for scientists to study. Here are some additional details about the orbital web. 
The web is made up of small particles of dust and debris that are kicked up by Osiris Rex's thrusters. The particles are held in place by the asteroid's gravity. The web is about 100 meters, 330 feet, thick. The web helps to keep Osiris Rex in its orbit by providing drag. The web is constantly changing as particles are kicked up and others settle back down. Osiris Rex is the first spacecraft to successfully create an orbital web around an asteroid. This is a major feat of engineering, and it will help to ensure the success of the mission.